I'm Hewan Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Plantagenet Angevin Riesling 2019 from Mount Barker, Western Australia. So the backstory to Plantagenet is an interesting one. Uh, it was established by an English migrant called Tony Smith in 1968. Tony Smith came out as a 10 pound pom. In other words, he was one of that wave of migrants from, the, uh, the, the, from Britain who paid 10 pounds to come out to Australia and settle here. He made good. He, um, coming from England, but also finding himself in the Plantagenet Shire of southwestern and Western Australia, it seemed to all add up to Tony because he's quite a proud uh, Englishman, of, proud of his, uh, his, uh, his ancestry and his background. And um, he, uh, he even uses the three lions on the back label and the front label, um, which is all very British, very English. So um, he came out here, he established Plantagenet. He started with very small beginnings. He had a farming property, he put one vineyard on it and he gradually built, built up more and more vineyards as time went by and built it into a quite a substantial business. Uh, now has 126 hectares of vineyards, which is quite a lot, especially in that part of the world. And he doesn't own it anymore. He he's retired and he sold it to Lionel Sampson and Company, which is a large Perth-based uh, liquor wholesaling company. Uh, they now own the business. And the winemaker is Luke Eckersley, who is a local boy. He grew up at Harvey, which is not very far from this district here. So he's, uh, he's gone off and got his Bachelor of Science degree at Curtin University and he's travelled the world making wine, getting experience, and he's come back to the southwest of WA to make wine. Let me just have a look. It's got the typical young Riesling colour, very pale straw yellow colour with maybe a tinge of green in it, which shows that it's fresh and youthful and swirl it in the glass and it leaves nice legs on the glass but it's not too viscous. It's lifted up to your nose and it's got this wonderful lifted almost Germanic kind of fragrance to it. There's a bit of gardenia, a bit of mandarin, a bit of honey. Gorgeous. There's a bouquet of flowers bursting out of the glass. Hmm. Beautiful wine. Very delicate, very intense, very light bodied, fragrant, fresh, really appetizing wine. Leaves the finish clean and refreshed and it's not sweet, it's not excessively acidic or, or astringent. Um, it's a beautifully balanced wine, I think. Gorgeous. We scored at 95, which is a very strong score. It's a gold ribbon score. It's a top rank wine because it's a great balance of price versus quality. In fact, it was number two out of 17 Rieslings from the 2019 vintage from Mount Barker that we tasted. So it's done extremely well indeed. We've suggested drinking it from now until 10 years hence, 2030. Wines of this calibre do age longer than that, but I would think that's about the right drinking window, 10 or 11 years from vintage date. Um, a gorgeous wine, $32 a bottle, good value, no problem. We asked the winemaker, Luke, what he would like to serve his wine with, and he said fresh natural oysters. And his particular favourite is Albany Rock Oysters, which is from the bottom south path, southwest of WA, uh, directly south of where this wine is grown. And uh, they actually serve them in their own tasting room at Plantagenet. But any oysters will do, no problem. I would agree with that totally. Good health. <laughs>